guys welcome back to my channel it's Teely here if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me and today is going to be my first episode of gluten free living which is a series that I'm starting on my channel this gluten free living series is going to be having videos on reviewing different gluten free like baking products or gluten free snacks that I think would be good but I'm going to try with you guys or anything that I learned that's gluten free and possibly sometimes dairy free anything like that I'm going to share with you guys so today I am going to be testing out these gluten free chocolate chip cookies because I have a sweet tooth today so I thought that I would try these out I got them and I'm like eh, I don't know how they're going to taste because sometimes gluten free stuff can have a little bit more of a brainy texture but then there's like the gluten free cake, which is really good. It's moist, fluffy. It is so good, you guys. Like, if you haven't tried a gluten free cake, you need to go try it because it is super duper good. So, without further ado, let's go make some cookies. Who doesn't like cookies? I do. I love chocolate chip cookies. That's my all time favorite. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I'm grabbing is the cookie mix and then I'm going in the refrigerator to grab some butter and then I'm also grabbing an egg because we have to have an egg for the cookies and then I'm going and grabbing a one tablespoon and half a cup measuring cups as well as a mixing bowl and this is everything that we need to make these cookies. So the first thing that we have to do is preheat our oven to 375 degrees, make sure it's on bake, and make it so that it is preheating. This way we can put the cookies in right when we're done mixing everything together. And I am using a toaster oven because right now our oven does not work, so this is what I have to work with. These are the Pillsbury gluten-free chocolate chip cookies, and this is what we are going to be making today. First, I have to get half a cup of butter, and I am putting the butter in a little bowl and putting it in the micro so that I can make sure it is all softened and ready to go. This way, it will also make the mixing process easier. I cooked mine for 45 seconds. You could probably get away with doing it for 30 seconds if you really wanted to. So first thing we have to do is put the cookie mitts in a bowl. I chose a medium sized one. Then I'm putting the butter into the bowl along with all of the cookie mitts. And I did have to do this a couple times because I was filming with one hand and I was pouring butter with the other and yeah. Next I had to get one tablespoon of water and I had to put that in the mitts. And then I had to grab one egg from the egg carton and that had to go in the bowl as well. I did crack it off camera. Next I have to mix it all together and this is what I was left with and it's, it's so chocolatey. It doesn't definitely look like the box but we're gonna see how this goes. Next step is to get spoonfuls and put them on non-greased baking pans or trays or whatever you would like to call them. Now it is time to put everything inside of the toaster oven. So I put one of the rats on another rat because it didn't fit and the other one came with the toaster oven so I just put it in there like so. I'm kind of getting GoPro vibes from this section. And now it is time for them to bake. And while it's baking I would definitely recommend putting another container with parchment paper on top of it ready so that you'll be able to put the cookies on it so that they can cool off. Okay you guys, so since the cookies are baking, I am going to show you guys something. So you know how the dough looks like brown and really chocolatey? On the package, it shows up like a normal, <laughs> like a normal chocolate chip cookie. So we're gonna see how this bakes out because this really doesn't look like the package, but even if it doesn't look like the package, maybe it'll taste good. I will see you guys again when I am taste testing the cookies. Oh my goodness, you guys. These cookies smell so good. I cannot wait to test taste these for you guys. I have a feeling that they're going to taste pretty good and you guys are going to have to go to the store and buy them and try them for yourself. 
This is what the cookies look like as of right now. To me, they look like they're oatmeal cookies, but we are definitely going to be taste testing these and seeing how they turn out. Now they are officially done, so I am taking them out of the toaster oven and putting them on top of hot pads on the stove so that they can begin cooling off. This is the time where we let them cool off and the package says to let them cool for two minutes and that's what we're gonna do. Now that the two minutes are up, I'm going to shut the timer off and begin to take the cookies off of those pans and put them onto the cooling rack so that they can, can, uh, so that they can just cool a little bit more. And this package did make 20 on the packaging. It says that it should make three dozen, but I like my cookies baked, so it didn't. Okay, you guys, so now it is taste testing time, and my mom is in the background. So when she gets back over here, we will taste test these cookies. Mom, this is what they look like. Hurry up, I want to put it in my mouth. Okay, Ooh, mine's breaking. Okay, taste test one. <laughs> mm. it's, it's like very the, fluffy. The consistency of like a um. Mm. It's the consistency of like a brownies. Yeah. I mean, nice. It's like nice brownie like consistency in a, nice and a cookie. It's chocolatey though. Yum. Mm. I'd say 10 out of 10. It tastes like chopped it brown, but not overpowering. Yeah. Like, it's not too rich, but. Oh. They're good. Pretty good. You guys need to go buy these cookies. I'm gonna go eat my cookie now. Bye. Okay, you guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if you like the videos that you see from me and you like my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and wet that notification bell so you will never miss another video from me. If you guys have any requests for what you'd like to see in the gluten-free living series, feel free to let me know down in the comments. And also, don't forget to leave me any questions down in the comments below for my future Q&A, which will come, be coming up soon. So without further ado, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video. I love you guys, and I look forward to showing you guys more in this gluten-free living series. Bye! Hope that is going to be... This... This... Oh my god. It broke. <laughs> you stop it. So. Uno, dos, tres, smash. Wait, but I gotta show what it looks like. I'm fail. Yeah.